guys, I am back and um, first thing I want to show you the uh, book that I told you about. Uh, I'll give you the uh, number where you can find it. I think it's in here somewhere. Let's see. Yes, it is. The ISBN number. So uh, a lot of people are in here. That's one of mine. One I'm sure you already have seen before, but there's also all techniques um, of acrylic painting. This one I'm sure you know. That's a very um, known artist. And Arthur Brothers is in here somewhere. Let's see. It's a pretty good book. Um, it's, it's full of uh, different techniques that you can do like something like this and um, a lot of stuff I did this is uh, Arthur Brothers and that was me and in the back that is some of my work that is um, I wrote down the, the the techniques of my hair yeah I still have to do something to my hair I went to the hairdresser because I thought I looked like a Playmobil like I told you guys and um, this is when I take my curlers out, so I still have to comb my hair, which I will be doing right now before I, well, it's not too bad. I think it's a, sort of an artist look, right? Wild artist look. Okay, I'll uh, show you the, uh, the acrylic book, and I'll give you the ISBN number if you want to, to look into it, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, I was showing you the book. So, this is take two because the dog started to bark and I had to put him inside. So the ISBN number is 978-1-78627-569-1. I'll put it right here in the, in the video. So this is a uh, Arthur Brothers work. Then these are all techniques and um, all ha it all has to do with acrylic acrylic paint. It uh, <clears throat> will tell you a little bit about it, about the ink, the fluid acrylic, the soft body, the heavy body. It's going to tell you about transparency, the hue, the saturation, the tonal value. It will tell you about flow enhancers, gloss or matte mediums what a retarder does, the clear tar gel, the pouring medium. Uh, it tells you about the brushes you can use or a roller, palette knife. It will tell you about paper you can use. Uh, this is canvas that you can use. It will tell you how to prime a canvas. It will tell you what an underpainting does. This is sort of a whole sort of a education all in one book. I know it won't go really in depth about it, but it'll give you um, a lot of information on how to do uh, techniques. Now here you can see a sort of technique uh, with a dry brush. This is flat, bold color. Now I'm, I'm not going to go through all of them, but as you can see there's um, a lot of uh, interesting ways you can use acrylic this is really, if I were to buy a book, see this is beautiful too. This is where you use the crack medium. Um, if I were to do a book, this is marbling. It, it really covers everything with, um, with what has to do with uh, acrylic paint. This is my bottle cap pour. You can see how, how you have to do it. That is really fun. So uh, this is the balloon kiss. This is my, all my work. This is the open cup push and pull. And then we go to the marbling, see how you do that. So if you have a, if you buy a book, this has about everything that you're going to need. So it's uh, acrylic, do more art, and it's from Rita Isaac. I'm pretty sure you can find it by now. Yeah? Okay, guys, um, you know I started that painting, and um, 
I, I am videoing each part I'm doing, so I was going to just keep that for a, for a different um, video. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I don't think anything more. Um, this is about it. I am going to do a, um, a really big uh, canvas, a cheap canvas, uh, a big one with the uh, alcohol technique, because I want to see if I can do... Um, the, th the one thing I didn't like about it, because you have one undercolor and you have the, the, uh, the top color where you put the cells in, but I would like to have a lot of color in there and then on top the same thing so that you have like maybe blues and turquoises and, and, and a touch of purple pink and then some greens and then on top I would like different cells. So that's something I'm going to try out too. But um, so I think we'll leave it at that, this little short video. Uh, again, I want to thank everyone for the uh, comments on my last videos. You were all uh, full of love, and I really appreciate that. And um, I'll be uh, seeing what I can do. I think I'm going to go and buy a, a different camera to do these uh, shots, because um, the iPad is just not up to par, you know, when you're doing videos. Sometimes I want to do a wide shot, and... This is really good lighting because I have these big light boxes uh, above my uh, surface. But if I want to do something big, I want to do it, uh, you know, on the floor of the uh, studio. And then the lighting is just, you know, it's not up to uh, standard. And you get these really dark videos. So uh, that's what I'm going to be looking into this week. So maybe this week, maybe next week. I don't know. So... Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.